I had logged into crisis server as root user. In this session, we will take a look at how to create Oracle ASM disks using Oracle ASM lib. We will also learn how to scan and list Oracle ASM disks. As you can see here, I am running Oracle Linux Server Release 6.4. This is my Linux kernel version, and notice that this is a 64-bit server. Also notice that this is an unbreakable enterprise kernel. Now, let us check the status of Oracle ASM lib kernel driver. As you can see here, Oracle ASM lib kernel driver is loaded and Oracle ASM lib mount point is mounted at dev slash Oracle ASM. As you can see here, we don't have any disks marked for use with Oracle ASM lib. We have two empty disks on this server. SDB and SDC. Using these two disks, we will create Oracle ASM disks. Unpartitioned disks cannot be used as ASM disks. So, first, we have to partition these disks. We will use fdisk command to partition this disk. M4 help. N to create a new partition on the disk. P to print the partition table of the disk. W to write the partition table to the disk. Now we will create a partition on this disk. We will create a primary partition. We will specify 1 as the partition number. We will choose the default value for the first cylinder. We will choose the default value for the last cylinder. First and last cylinder values dictate the size of the partition. By choosing default values 
we have created a single partition which occupies the full disk. We will print the partition table and review the partition settings. As you can see here, we have a disk SDB which is of 10.7 GB size. We have created one partition called SDB1 on this disk. Now, we will write the partition table to the disk and complete this F disk command. Now, we will create a partition on SDC disk. We have created one partition called SDC1 on this disk. Now, we have created two partitions on these disks SDB1 and SDC1. Now, we will create ASM disk using Oracle ASM create disk command. This command marks a disk partition for ASM use and instantiates it for Oracle ASM lib. In other words, this command will label the partition as ASM disk. This is the Oracle ASM disk label. This is the path of disk partition which will be marked as ASM disk. As you can see here, partition disk header is written and labeled for ASM lib and then ASM disk is instantiated. Now, let us create another Oracle ASM disk. Note that, if a disk partition is already labeled as ASM disk, then create disk will fail. This will protect from accidental disk header updates. Now, let us run Oracle ASM scan disks command. This command will check 
block devices, 4, ASM discs. Disc partitions labeled for ASM lip will be added to the ASM lip kernel driver. As you can see here, all the disc partition tables are reloaded. Any discs that no longer exist are dropped and stale ASM discs are cleaned. Finally, system is scanned for ASM discs. It will instantiate any uninstantiated ASM discs. It is recommended to run Oracle ASM scan disks command after any changes to ASM disks. For example, after creating, deleting, or renaming ASM disks. Now, let us run Oracle ASM list disks command. This command will query the ASM lib device manager to list all instantiated ASM disks. Disks are listed by ASM disk labels. As you can see here, we have two ASM disks. Oracle ASM scan disks command can be executed with scan only option. This command will not reload the partition tables for each disk. This is the safe scan option for already in use disk devices. Now, we have two disks listed under dev slash oracle asm slash disks folder because these two disks are labeled as oracle asm disks. Now, let us create one more Oracle ASM disk on this SDD1 disk partition. Note that ASM disk instantiation has failed. Let us run Oracle ASM scan disks command. As you can see here, scan disks command is also unable to instantiate ASM disks. In this case, reason for these failures is security enhanced Linux. Using SE status command, we can check the status of a system running security enhanced Linux. Most modern Linux systems support this security enhanced Linux option and by default this mode is enabled after system installation. As you can see here security enhanced Linux is enabled on this server and that is causing our ASM disk instantiation failures.
for now, let us disable security enhanced Linux option by modifying this S E Linux configuration file. We need to set S E Linux parameter to disable. Now, security enhanced Linux is in disabled mode in the configuration file. Security enhanced Linux option will be disabled after next server restart. Now, let us restart this server. This server has been restarted. As you can see here, security enhanced Linux option is now disabled. Now, let us create Oracle ASM disk on SDD1 disk partition. Now, we are able to create and instantiate ASM disks. In this session, we have looked at how to create Oracle ASM disks using Oracle ASM Lib. We have also learned how to use scan disks and list disks commands.